American opera is in the middle of a renaissance right now, but it all began really with Carlisle Floyd's Susanna. So for us to be doing Susanna is an incredible first for us, but also it's an acknowledgement of where opera has come in America. It is the very essence of Southern Appalachian culture. The accents with which these characters speak, the sentiments that they have, a kind of naivete and also a kind of wisdom that speaks directly to those of us who have been brought up and have lived for a long time in the Appalachian Mountains. This particular opera is as real an experience as you can possibly get. The experience that all of the characters go through in Susanna, I know for a fact that everybody who has lived in the southern Appalachian uh, neck of the woods is going to relate at some point in their life and perhaps even ongoing to the experiences that these folks are, are singing about and enacting on stage in a language that is so entirely the language that, that we use ourselves. Good musical theater is good musical theater. It doesn't have to be the Barber of Seville to be good. It can be, it doesn't have to be South Pacific to be good. But Susanna has got a relationship with this incredible drama that is mind-bogglingly real to Susanna, the character, in a way that the music and her text and the delivery on stage, it penetrates the heart absolutely in a way that almost nothing else that I know of does. It's a hot night for dancing, ain't no breeze astir, they're too easy, all gone to it charms, it charms, it charms. It's just a hard lover's... <laughs> 